Economic activity is about what people do to earn a living. There are four types. Today we're going to concentrate on secondary. Secondary is making products, goods. Our example is a sawmill located in Nairn. This area has a lot of forestry. When the trees are mature, they are harvested, cut down. We call this a clear fell. The logs are stacked before they are hauled to a sawmill. Some of the trees are left standing for raptors. This is the central area of Nairn. It has banks and shops, no factories, because the land is expensive. Gordon's sawmill is located on the southern edge of the town. In this aerial photo, the railway line is at the top. The site is about 8 hectares. In recent years, Nairn is expanding and houses have been built on what were fields. What do you think are the main reasons for locating a sawmill in this location? The most important reason is the supply of raw material. We're going to look at inputs, processes and outputs. The first stage of the process is the weighing. The lorry arrives from the forest loaded with timber and it's weighed on the way bridge. The weight of one log can be 200 kilograms. The lorry takes the load to the beginning of the sorting line. The crane operator picks up and rotates some of the logs. Logs which have a bulge or are not straight are trimmed off by this saw. Logs that are straight go straight through. then pass through a brown shed with a 3D scanner. This gives the diameter and the length, the key dimensions. There it goes. Each log is kicked off the sorting line in the correct place. Logs are going... They, they get kicked off at various points depending on the diameter. Um, and it, 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 it decides what shape, what length and all the rest of what going. <laughs> the logs are stacked around the site before they are moved to the main sawmill line. So this is a sourcing process, isn't it? It's a sorting process, basically, yeah. The main sawmill line is inside this big green shed. Logs are 
are stripped of bark in a peeling machine. The bark is collected for horticultural use, that's gardens and such. Next they join the main line into the sawmill. Each log is scanned by another 3D scanner and the information is instantly processed. The optimum cuts are calculated. Within seconds the log enters the first set of saws. The sawmill line is controlled from one booth. Cutting is precise and it happens at some speed. The noise is so loud you have to wear earplugs. Sawn timber is collected and moved to the sorting area. This machine measures each sawn plank and works out which pocket it should be dropped into. pocket is filled with timber of the same dimensions. Occasionally the line is halted for repair and maintenance work. This machine stacks the timber from one pocket before it is dried in the kiln. Dowels are used to separate planks. This pack is now ready for the kiln. <laughs> 